Hello, internet viewers. I'm Dan, and this is my 1998, seven, eight, I think, Kawasaki Mule 2510. And this is my entry for the quarantine car show. Now, you're probably gonna wonder why I'm talking about a utility side-by-side -side for an entry for the car show. And I thought, yeah, there's a lot of other crap I could have put into this car show. You know, I got nine tractors on the property that are all built before World War II. They have their own lines. Got my TDI swap Toyota, but everybody's done that. Or I've got my old F-250. I thought this old girl deserved the most merit, especially because she's helped me move about 11 tons of dirt out of my crawl space. But uh, not only is this about a Kawasaki mule, this is a very special Kawasaki mule because it has the four cylinder inline, the inline four cylinder sport bike engine out of a Suzuki Bandit 400, also known as a GSF 400, and it's kind of a pretty dumb thing to do, right? I mean, find somebody else who's done a unique swap like this, and probably because it's dumb, but you know, what else is there to do in central Indiana during a pandemic? Nothing. So may as well have some fun with it and swap out a CVT V-Twin for a six-speed sport bike engine that revs to 16,000 RPM. So I'm going to do a walk around and show a little bit of this thing in action and we will uh, try to wrap this video up in a cute little bow with a good nasty burnout. So, look forward to that. Appreciate you looking through this for the Quarantine Car Show. Uh, even though it's not exactly a car, but I'm sure some of you can look past that. And let's go see what... Okay, here is the walk around of the mule. Like I said, this guy came to me pretty much looking like this, except I did have to raise the bed to fit this extra motor under here so you'll see that is uh, not a normal Kawasaki mule engine walk over here to how I rigged up the drive line so it's missing an air filter you, you don't need to worry about it it's, it's right there it's probably doing something the, uh, the CVT that came on this thing pretty handy they, when Kawasaki designed this thing, they had this threaded insert. You can see these cap screws here are everything, this, this flange is actually the spline section that goes into the transmission. That's why that thing is so long, is I wanted to preserve that in case I ever wanted to uh, put that CVT back on. But I made this adapter to bolt to that spline section so that I could then weld a sprocket to that adapter and make this thing a six speed. A little bit of uh, wiring's not my strong suit. So I've got the CDI box just kind of there. It's, it's there. It does the job. Coming into the cab, we've got our heel clutch, foot clutch. You'll notice that's a wrench what I had laying around. I thought that would be a cool clutch pedal. And then our six-speed shifter, that's that's for the bike transmission. High-low for the mule transmission, forward, neutral, reverse. Also the mule transmission. And then rear differential lock. So you can get in there to see the words. Unlock. Lock. And then four-wheel drive down between the seats, some other stuff, you know, some dirt, chain, stuff that you'll need when you actually use this thing. Uh, cup holders where they don't belong. Check. 
Those are made out of PVC because I'm cheap and poor. And they even got beer in them. Park brake works. That's kind of a nice feature. You don't see that in things this old very often. Then this cab, actually, this is a, get back in there to see the decal. This is a Curtis Tractor Cab Company cab. It was made for this mule, but pretty handy accessory. Really nice for the winter, which as, as you know, being March, we're coming out of that here in Indiana. So it'll be time to take these doors and the back part off here soon, but the windshield's still nice to have. Um, that's really about, about it for the walk around. Oh, I almost forgot. Front hitch, is, this front bumper got ripped off a couple of times. So I had to weld it back on. And while I was attacking it with the welder, I figured I'd add a little toe point there. Kind of kinked the roll cage out there a little bit, but it's fine. No problem. Here it is, proof that I actually use the damn thing.